Melanin is the chemical key to life. There is nothing else to study in science but melanin. We call it chemi, which means black. The people who study melanin particles call what they studying, the science is called chemistry, what you call chemistry, the study of melanin particles that go around in an orbit, and we call them electrons, protons, solitons. Those are melanin particles. That's why we call it chemistry. And the country you come from is called Kemet, which some people call Egypt. There's nothing else to study but melanin. And if you study chemistry or heard of chemistry and haven't heard the word melanin, you have just been studying social science. You go into a classroom and you call it biology, but biology is the way melanin controls the cell. And we call that little melanin sitting in the cell the new sun, the nucleus. The new sun radiates information and tells the cell how to operate, how to think, how to digest. That's melanin. Biology is the study of melanin and how it communicates. There's nothing else to study in if you're going into the living sciences. Melanin plays a part in your historical memory. The more melanin you have, the more you're connected to your ancestors. You can pull on thoughts that you didn't even know were there because melanin gives you ancestral memory. That's based on melanin. That's how we classify races, based on their melanin content. Not the quality of melanin in your skin we're talking about. It doesn't mean a light-skinned brother is less black than you are. We're talking about the melanins produced inside their body by the pineal gland. That's the melanin we measure. Every living thing has to have melanin. White people have it, but they have a lesser amount. And their melanin is different from your melanin. Their melanin has sulfur in the middle, your melanin has selenium in the middle. There are two different types of melanin that could not biologically come down the same tree. That's physiologically impossible for a white person to evolve from a black person. It's two different melanins. That's why every scientist says that theory of evolution. We never say it's a fact. Never. We say it's the theory of evolution. It's not a fact. Theories are something you need to just get through the day. I have a theory that I'm going to be a millionaire. It helps me get through a day. But I don't know. I know it's not real. It's just a theory. And we use theories just to get through information in science. It just helps us to focus stuff. But we, don't, we know they're not facts. So we never say the fact of evolution. It's a theory. It helps us focus our information, get through some research. That's all. And when we finish with the theory, we throw it away. But you pick it up and think it's a real thing. This is really a fact. No, it is not. The stuff we make up to get through the day, keep us focused, the theory of evolution, the theory of the speed of light, the theory of, of gravity, the theory of this and that, they're all theories. Can't prove none of it. Theory, theories.